episode of the Mindful Space. Today I am here to walk and walk for a good cause for mental health. Today we are at the Sioux in Miami for a wonderful organized walk with thousands of people organized by NAMI Miami. This area we have all the sponsors that are collaborating and supporting the NAMI walk. Mental health matters no matter the race, the color, we are here to promote all and to break the stigma. We're ending the silence through NAMI's mental health walk. Yay, NAMI! We've got 3,500 people here, much uh, over 1,500 more than last year. Amazing. Let's follow the music. Let's find the DJ. all these wonderful people together to support one thing, mental health. We wanna know why you're here, why you're supporting mental health today in the NAMI Walk. We're here. <laughs> I'm working as a mental health therapist, so I think this is a good cause. And obviously a walk is good exercise and a good break from the, the weekly usual. I love it, I couldn't agree more. Um, I lost my husband five months ago, so I'm here to support him and mental health services. Are you here alone or I see you have some friends? Family and friends. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for participating. Did you know that 80% of suicides by death are of men? Statistically speaking, men have a higher risk of suicide attempts. Is it because of stigma? Is it because maybe they are taught by society not to share their feelings? What are your thoughts? Okay, so why are you here? How are you supporting mental health? Uh, we all work at the psych ward in Nicholas Children's Health, so you know we see what a lot of kids go through these days, so we're just here to support them, let them know that they're not alone. Well, I'm here because I believe in mental health for everybody, because I'm also, uh, you know, I suffer from mental health, and I was privileged to have services, right? Access to them. So I'm here to support for other people to have access to. Okay. Well, thank you, and enjoy your walk. Why are you ladies here, to support her? Yeah, we are. That's our favorite person, so we're here with her. Okay, so we want to know why you're here and how are you supporting mental health? Oh, thank you so much for having us. We have our own podcast for life. Um, licensed care professionals and we both have PhDs. We'd like to spread the wor word on mental health for the Hispanic community in particular. Um, and so today we're spreading the word. We're uh, interviewing Spanish speaking people so everybody can know about resources and uh, really get all the help they can um, get. My name is Aida Varela. I work for Miami Day College, the Homestead campus. And so Miami Day College has a group of people here through clubs that we have NAMI on, um, NAMI on campus. And so West Campus has a big NAMI on campus, uh, Kendall, Homestead, we are moving things forward. So really to support raising awareness about mental illness, raising awareness about the support available, and that there is light <laughs> at the end of the tunnel or through the tunnel too. So I believe that um, all the friends and family that I and people I work with uh, could do very well to become involved in this cause. Thank you so much, Madam Mayor. Thank you so much, Commissioner, for everything. Thank you. I hope you're going to stay and walk through the zoo. All right, we're ready. Okay, now we're going to get we're going to go walk through the zoo in just a minute. Hopefully, we'll see some animals. Maybe that'll be nice. It's like a two for one, right? If you're an advocate for mental health, go ahead and like this video. Follow me. We are about to start this walk at the start line. So how do you support mental health and what are your thoughts on mental health? Uh, it is a silent killer. I know a lot of people suffer from mental health and they make sure their friends don't worry about them too much. They put on a, a face so that they don't have to worry, but in inside they're tearing themselves apart and they can't help it. And they wish they could ask for help, but they can't. They don't know how to. Good. Thank you. Why are you here? Me, because I went to my family. Mental health does run in my family, so that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I look at her with her little fan. I love it. She's prepared. Okay. So we want to know why you're here and, and how you're supporting mental health. 
I work for Siegel Trials, um, so we do a lot of trials for mental health, anxiety, depression, things like that. Um, I also have a family member um, that unalived itself, so we're here to support. You know, we're here as a helping hand. It's your first NAMI walk? No, my second. So you loved it, that's why you came back? Yes, of course. <laughs> We are walking around and asking, how do you support mental health? Why are you doing this walk? Well, not only do I support mental health, but I work with mental health or movement. I mean, the police department, we're part of the crisis response unit. So we do more than 40 hours a week just dealing with helping those with uh, mental health and providing the resources appropriate. We're here in representation of two of our family members that have a brain disorder known as a mental condition. With him, he's one. Uh, and we're here to support the, the initiative because mental health right now is coming at the uh, front, well, at the front end, that we really need all the help, assistance. That's what we are here for, to support, to learn, to cooperate, to donate, to uh, uh, inspire people to assist their loved ones with a mental illness. That's what we're here for. I love it. Is this your first NAMI walk or do you come often to these events? This is the third. We've been uh, linked to NAMI for the past 17 years. We are also, my wife and I, facilitators of the family to family uh, course that is provided for uh, families of a person that has the brain disorder or the mental illness to learn how to deal with that person. Oh, I love your cause. Thank you. Thank you for participating. And I hope you enjoy. Have fun. You have a great day. Of course. People had very good reasons to be here. Um, like I said previously, some of these reasons are personal. Some people are struggling themselves with mental health. And others are here to support their friends and family. It's families, grandma, grandpa. Everybody was here today. Guys, we are almost there. We are going to go through the finish line. <laughs> I have to say that I am very tired and out of shape. <laughs> but this was my idea, so I had to follow through. I love collaborating. You will see the light right there. This is the end. Yes! This is the end. Yes! For me. Woo! All right, guys, we are almost at the finish line. What a journey, <laughs> let me tell you. 90 degree weather in Miami, NAMI Walk. It did not stop anyone. So you can see everyone's here sweating, you know, together, joined for a comment. Hold on. Digan hola. <laughs> yeah, so not even the heat could have stopped people to support this cause. And I see it, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, we want to know why you're here, why you're doing the NAMI walk, and how you support mental health. Who are you here supporting? Uh, I'm here supporting, well, my uncle in spirit, but um, I'm here with my friend Angie. Her dad's on the board. Do you girls do this walk often, or is this your first time? It's our first time. What are your thoughts? Uh, I really like it so far. I think it has a little bit of everything for everyone, and it sends a good message. Yeah, it feels like community. This was a unit uh, that was put together. Well, it was uh, the, the, the mayor's vision, and then the Mental Health Wellness Bureau put it together. It's basically uh, the officers have more mental health training, like an, an extra three weeks. Uh, they get additional mental health training every every month. They only respond to mental health related calls or anybody who's in a, in a crisis, and they're trained on that population and, and how to speak to them. Because our whole goal is to uh, reduce the number of unnecessary fake cracks, but also reduce the necessary fake cracks, right? Because a lot of times we find that um, there's issues with access to their medicine, there's issues with access to their appointments, so we help bridge that gap so that they can get the care that they need. I love this initiative. He is right. Baker Acts can be reduced. Not everybody needs to be Baker Acted. So I love what they're doing. I love their mission. I support. Yeah, I think we're both here for a few different reasons. Uh, my partner Rob works uh, for Baptist Community and they are one of the sponsors here. So we're here through that. Uh, for me personally, I have helped uh, raise awareness in a few different programs for mental health, especially in the agricultural community, which I think is just highly overlooked. Um, and so any chance to come out and support, that's what we're here for. 
Yeah, I'm just out here to support, you know, mental awareness. I've had two friends in the past that have committed suicide, you know, like overdose. Thank you so much. Thank you for spreading awareness and for your support, okay? Rose Andrews, I'm the Director of Communications and Outreach on, from NAMI Miami-Dade. We are here today to raise awareness about mental health, to share all of our free resources. But most of all, we're here to connect with our community, to understand that we all have mental health. We're all in this together. There's help, there's hope, there's support. So, you know, we're so excited. More than 3,600 people today. It exceeded our expectations. We met our goal to continue to provide these free resources to everyone in our community for free and to end the stigma around mental health. So this is a day of community, more than 60 community organizations with their resources too. We know we can't do it alone. So we're very excited to, to have a day when we're all in this together and we're all working for mental health during Mental Health Awareness Month. Thank you for being here, for helping us, right? People like you in our community that actually supports mental health and raises their voice to, to talk about mental health and create awareness. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, as you can see, a lot of people here have personal reasons, and I love that everybody comes together as a community for this amazing walk to spread awareness and break the stigma, break the silence.